Good morning, good morning. This is Rashad Mitchell coming to you live from the YouTube channel. It's a continuum of part series. The week that was college football history review, the 197, excuse me, 1981 college football season. This is week 11. The games are played on November 14th, 1981. Let's get into it. Alabama, the number six team in the country, beat number five, Penn State, in about two top 10 teams, 31 to 16, in favor of Alabama. An emotionally charged Alabama squad. One another for Coach Bear Bryant, number 314, so tied tie Amos Alonzo Stagg's career win record while Ty's wishbone attack rushed for 279 yards of a surprising aerial game that did end the Lions. Quarterback Walter Lewis stunned Penn State with two touchdown passes to wide receiver Jesse Bendros in 57-yard completion to wide receiver Joey Jones to set up another three points as Bama built 24-3 halftime lead. Chris and Ty enjoyed 334 334 yards to 70 yards advantage by halftime. Nitty Lions gained 294 yards in the second half with Warner leading way with 69 yards rushing. Alabama defense sparkled, highlighted by goal line stand in the second half after Penn State moved to first down at Bama one yard line. Defensive end Mike Pitts ankle stop on tailback. Kurt Warner on fourth down with final touchdown saving play. Said Penn State coach Joe Paterno who dropped to only three versus Bryant. It's a historic moment in football. I'm glad for him. Number two, Clemson beat Maryland 21-7. Clemson captured his eighth ACC title with win over the Nemesis. Quarterback Homer Jones had a huge game in completing 15, eight, 15 for 18 for 214 yards with three touchdowns in first half. Wide receiver Perry Tuttle was on receiving end of two scores among his eight receptions in first half against largely single coverage. Terps finally scored in fourth quarter by converting Tigers' final fumble into seven-yard touchdown run by tailback Charlie Wasaki. Maryland quarterback Boomer Siason threw for 167 yards and losing an effort. North Carolina, number 13 team in the country, beat Virginia. By score 17-14, lowly Cavaliers came close to upset with air show, rarely seen by his fans. With quarterback Gordy Whitehead throwing two touchdown passes in the second quarter, Virginia surprised Tar Heels with 14-7 halftime lead. White Whitehead was out of game by the end of the third quarter with shoulder injury, and so too were Cavs as Carolina took lead with 10.3 third quarter. Tailback Tyrone Anthony scored on two-yard run by tying touchdown, and kicker Brooks Barwick blew the 34-yard field goal lead in the third quarter for win. Subs so quarterback Mike Eck and quarterback Todd Kirkley in for Whitehead, combined for four interceptions while Tarios kept ball on ground behind halfback Kelvin Bryant, who rushed for 171 yards and a touchdown. Next, we got number 12, Miami, beating Virginia Tech 21-14 in rematch of 1980 Peach Bowl. Hurricanes jumped to a two-touchdown lead in the first quarter, but had to hold on against resurgent Virginia Tech. Hokies hat running back run by Bob Thomas from the opening kickoff to set up first of two scoring passes by quarterback Jim Kelly. Tailback Cyrus uh, Lawrence and quarterback Steve Casey led Hokies rally, each rushing for touchdown. Best chance for uh, Virginia Tech to secure fourth-quarter table turner. Ended on Casey's fumble after he moved his troops to Miami's 17 yard line. Tennessee beat Mississippi by score 28 to 20. Missouri. Missouri beat number 15, Oklahoma. 19 to 14. The Tigers bounced Oklahoma from Big 8 title race as halfback Bobby Meyer ran for 108 yards and 19 yard touchdown. Missouri, winning for the first time in series since 1969, took a 13 7 lead at halftime on two field goals by kicker Bob Lachesi. The quarterback Brad Perry's one yard touchdown run. Meyer's touchdown run in third quarter, featuring several broken tackles, upping the lead to 19 7. 
Oklahoma rally as halfback Steve Sewell, 46 yard touchdown catch off the tip, was followed by a profitable onside kickoff. But Tigers defense stepped to secure the win because Oklahoma finished with 296 yards rushing, led by 127 yards by fullback Stanley Wilson and 123 yards by quarterback Darrell Shepard. Tigers defensive tackles Jeff Gaylord and the author of 12 tackles and three phone recoveries. Brigham Young defeated Ohio, Hawaii. Brigham Young defeated Hawaii by a score of 13 to 3. Have you heard joke about whack teams playing defense? There was nothing funny here for Hawaii, which lost its unbeaten state, 11 game, winning streak, first ever pole ranking. Yeah, Hawaii was number 19 in the country. And conference title hopes. As quarterback Jim McMahon paced Brigham Young with 269 yards passing, but was held without touchdown pass as BYU wide receiver Neil Ballholm recovered from by fumble fullback Wayman Hamilton and end zone for only touchdown of the game. Now, the Cougars kicker Kurt Gunther uh, booted two field goals. Cougars defense shackled top black rusher Rainbow's running back Gary Allen to minus one yards. Game had morning start for mainland TV. Next, we got Washington beating number three Southern California by a score of 13-3. The Trojans of sunny California had to be ser- anxious when arriving at windy, gloomy Husky Stadium, facing wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour, so the California was blown away. Key play occurred at the 40 yard field goal by kicker Chuck Nelson put Washington up 6-3 late in fourth quarter win. And swing kickoff bounced over USC tailback Fred Crutcher's head. The ball was knocked crazily into the end zone and covered by Washington fullback Washington linebacker Fred Small for clinching touchdown. Facing win and Huskies defense that held tailback Marcus Allen to 155 yards rushing after seven games in a row over 200 yards. Trojans had no chance for comeback, but Marcus Allen cracked 2,000 yard season rushing mark early in the game to become the first collegian ever to do so. Winning Huskies managed only 120 yards of offense. And last but not least, they had number 18 UCLA beating. Number nine, Arizona State, 34-24. Quarterback Mike Pagel was driving Arizona State for tying touchdown late in the game. When his pass was tipped by UCLA nose guard Carl Morgan and picked off by defensive end Joe Gary. Women's converted to turnover seventh by the Devils, including four interceptions into a 44-yard field goal by kicker Norm Johnson to seal the win. The tailback Kevin Nelson rushed for 111 yards and 28-yard touchdown run while quarterback Tom Ramsey threw. They ran for touchdowns to lead UCLA. Sun Devils took 14 0 to lead, thanks in part to Ramsey's fumble on own one yard line. Ramsey even things up at 14 14. Bruins, second touchdown, following the fumble by Pagel. After brutal hit by linebacker Brad Clemens, teams swapped field goals and Bruins scored two touchdowns in the second half to open a 31-17 lead. Arizona State cut lead with 81-yard drive that ended with one-yard touchdown run by fullback Gerald Briggs. So that includes a look at week 11. Week 11. From November the 14th, 1981, the games that are played in the 1981 college football season, college football history review, the 1981 college football season for week 11, November 14th, 1981. November 14th, 1981. Let's get into the polls. For November 16th, for the AP poll, 1981. November 16th, Arizona State was number 20. 19 was Iowa. 18, Brigham Young. 17, Washington. 16, Arkansas. 15, UCLA. 14, Washington State. 13, Penn State. 12, North Carolina. 11, Miami. The top 10 roundout is this. Number 10, Southern California. 9 was Southern Mississippi. 8, Texas. 7, Michigan. 6, Southern Methodist. 5, Nebraska. 4, Alabama. 3, Georgia. 2, Clemson. Number 1, Pittsburgh. So that includes a look at College Football History Review. College Football History Review, the 1981 College Football Season for Week 11. The games that are played on November 14, 1981.
Please like, subscribe, and comment on the channel. Do a video of the Smack 2 tomorrow. Till then, talk to you soon.